What's going on, campers? Camp Face it here today. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to do a freaking video. You're, you got that thing fired up right now? I can barely talk over that thing. What did I tell you? I'm trying to freaking talk to my fans here about your damn game. <laughs> All right, just relax. Just turn it off for a minute. All right, Jesus. So anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. What's going on, campers? Camp Face are here. I'm going to try to do this again. Um, today. Oh, my. You take this bridge and I'll beat you over the head and make your face look even worse. Camp Face We'll go grave robbing in a little bit. Just, just relax. So in case you're new here to the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, click notifications to all, for this is the channel where we talk horror movies, gaming, and everything to do with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, news, and more. Thank you. And I also want to do a big shout out to all my camp members of the channel for directly supporting and becoming a monthly paid member of the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If anyone's looking to help support the channel, I will put a link down in the description below, and I appreciate that, you guys. So let's get into it. Okay, so if you, in case you didn't know this, I know there's a lot of people that don't know because YouTube doesn't always put my videos out to everybody and a lot of the viewers that come to my channel and watch the videos there's more viewers that aren't subscribed than there are subscribed so that being said if you didn't know this yet and you're into video gaming especially horror movie ips there's a new texas chainsaw massacre the game coming out there's no release date yet but it's being made by the creators of Friday the 13th, the game, Gun Interactive, and Sumo Nottingham. And uh, this game, so far, the teaser trailer, it's a cinematic uh, trailer. It looked really cool for what it was so far. The score is all done by the uh, developers over at Gun. Uh, they are authentic and true horror movie fans. Uh, if you haven't played Friday the 13th, the game, you know what I'm talking about when I say uh, true fans to the horror franchise. They Easter eggs, uh, attention to detail, all that cool stuff. I'm telling you, this is going to be a multiplayer, asymmetrical multiplayer game. We're going to talk about what we know so far, some of the facts, uh, go over a few things like that. Just kind of refresh and maybe uh, let the news out to people that haven't seen or even heard about this game. Okay, so first off, there is no release date as of yet. That is a fact. They're still working on the game. I'm sure there's a lot of work left to do. I, I just saw one of the developers from Gun, uh, Wes Keltner, over on his official Twitter page, post a little video clip of him going out to um, some field with the, the, the chainsaws, which is the, the Poland uh, 245, I believe it is. That the screen accurate chainsaw used in the film. He's doing sound capture. He's capturing the authentic uh, art of that sound from that particular chainsaw. So there's, they're still working on stuff like that. I'm sure the um, Sumo Nottingham, who's do, uh, doing all the uh, developing of the actual game, is doing a lot of the um, mocap work and all that stuff. I'm no developer, but I know that it takes a lot to build a game. Especially after what we've learned from Friday the 13th, the game. Uh, Gun Interactive, they were formerly called Gun Media. Gun Interactive, when they released Friday the 13th, the game, before it came out, as they were building it, they brought their fans to the, <coughs> in the studios with them and taught them kind of a little about the process. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. <sighs> He's got me all worked up over here. I'll take care of him later. <coughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. Just shut your trap. My brother makes real good head cheese, by the way. I'll show you some of that later. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, I am a huge fan of horror, especially Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm a bigger fan of Friday the 13th and a few other movies out there, but I've always been a fan of Texas Chainsaw. Um, I've, I grew up watching it, and recently, uh, about nine months ago or more, give or take, I purchased this collector edition that came out the steelbook case 
the uh, 1974 film, which Gun Interactive did mention the video game is going to be based after months before the actual film. So the game's going to be months leading up to the 1974 original film. So I'm. they did mention that, and I don't think we're going to be playing as the four survivors, Kirk, Sally, and so on. Uh, it, it's probably going to be something different building up to that point. Maybe it's going to be show how Leatherface, uh, a.k.a. Bubba, or Jed, um, got those bones in the living room. Maybe... They were, maybe they're not going to be in the living room until we come into the game and he starts chopping us up and hanging our bones and building. Maybe that couch in that living room is going to be me as a survivor. Maybe those are my bones. Um, so yeah, if you guys have not even seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, I'm not hating on it, but I'm saying 100%, if you have the chance, go and watch it. Um, make sure it's the original 1974 and when you watch it, it's, you know, it's an old film, but be open-minded and just dive your imagination into it because it's, it's artwork. It's a piece of art. It's not overboard disgusting. There's not even really that much blood and guts in it at all. What does the movie, what makes it so immersed, disturbing, and leaves you at the end with like, oh my God, that was that was brilliant. That was a crazy movie. It's the fact that there less is more, if you want to say. Um, it, it really is a great movie. So watch the movie. If you're going to get into this video game, go watch the movie. Do yourself a favor. Thank me later. Watch it. Even if you haven't, if you've seen it before, I know a lot of my buddies are like, oh, I've already seen it years. I grew, dude, I don't know. I already know. Watch it again because I grew up watching it. And um, I bought this nine months ago. And about two weeks ago, I just watched it for the first time in like two years or a year or two, something like that. And my daughter and I, which is, she's 15, she was like, <gasps> she was like, she likes horror movies. So she, she was like, that is the best movie I've, like, that's one of the best horror movies I've ever seen. She's like, it was a masterpiece. So, um, watch it because this game is going to be a lot to do, everything to do with that film. Uh. So what we know so far, I know this video is dragging out a little bit already, but this is interesting talk, you know. So what we know so far is it's going to be le uh, months leading up to the 1974. Um, the, another f interesting fact, what we know is the three Sawyer killers are going to be on the map at the same time taking on the survivors. We don't know how many survivors there are at once in one multiplayer match. My guess is at least four. There's got to be. But there's, there's um, Leatherface, which is also known as Bubba, his nickname. Um, well, Leatherface is his nickname, too. His real name is Jed um, Sawyer. They're all brothers. And then you got... Uh, 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 what's, what's, his, what's his face? Um, the Hitchhiker is his nickname, but his real name is Nubbins. And then you have The Cook is his nickname... But his name is um, Drayton Sawyer. Um, so there are three brothers. They're gonna, you're going to be able to play as them. We don't know their job in the game. We don't know the gameplay at all yet, which is kind of like, uh, until you see the gameplay, how do we know if this is even going to be worth talking about? Because what if it's, the gameplay sucks? We don't know yet. But I have confidence. I'm not. I'm 100% sure it's not going to suck. It's going to be awesome. So we get to play as Leatherface, um, uh, the Hitchhiker, and the cook um after the survivors um we do know that the original house is there we saw that in, in the trailer the main road the the dirt driveway leading up the windmill um and a few other things like that don't know if the gas station or the graveyard is going to be in the game yet because this we just saw the teaser trailer it didn't show that stuff um we we saw leatherface in the in his house, uh, brutally uh, stabbing somebody, hanging upside down with his chainsaw and blood spitting out on his face, on his mask. Um, so, the, we, I, anyways, I've been over on the official subreddit of Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre subreddit, 
and the fans over there are going crazy. They're talking about, they're, they're asking so many questions, which is cool, but some of the questions are just kind of ridiculous. Like, and, and, and Gunn is not answering some of those ones because they're just, every day there's the same old, like, obviously they're not going to get answers for these questions. <laughs> um, but some of the more interesting, um, serious questions, Gunn has chimed in a few times and answered them. I do have videos on, on this channel. You can go, and I talked about a few of those questions being answered. But the the gameplay, what we know is it's not going to be like the same way Friday the 13th the game was. It's not going to be the combat system where you just get to grab a weapon and beat on the killer, knock him down, get you know circle him around with your friends and hit him over and over. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be played out a different way. I'm not sure how many weapons or if any weapons are going to be available. Um, we don't know that, but um, we do know that each killer, I think, has his own purpose in the game. Um, it's not going to be like they're all equal and they just go out and kill everybody. I'm sure there's going to be um, some kind of uh, objective for each killer. So if you're Leatherface, you have, probably have an objective. If you're the Hitchhiker, you probably have an objective and the cook and so on. So the gameplay... Um, what we know so far isn't going to be the killers just killing everybody all, just to get the, the game over. And the survivors aren't going to want to go after the killers because we know Matt from Gun already said that uh, this the gameplay is going to be like uh, you're not going to want to go after the killer because it's going to be very limited with uh, attack uh, combat. So you may might have to like sneak past them. Maybe you have a way to defend yourself. Not sure yet. That's still up in the air. I would like to see a combat system where you can grab a weapon. But maybe, like I said before, I, I, I'm repeating myself on this, but maybe they should have lim limited weapons. like Not as much as Friday the 13th had. Make them limited. But if you do get your hands on one, make them break. Make it like a one-hit shot and then it breaks and then you have to freaking run. Don't make it so it's like eight or nine hits and then you find another weapon right down uh, ten feet further. You know, like make it harder. For the survivors to f don't make them want to find weapons and attack the uh, killers make them like if they do see one they grab it that's fine but don't make them be like oh let's go out and give there's weapons all over let's just grab a weapon beat on them you know so we want to make them feel like they're scared like make them fear you know give them fear another fact that they said was if this game like if the game does well or or you know it takes off pretty good they do have future uh, DLC plan, probably, most likely. They're not gonna. They're not saying that this is only gonna be the 1974 game or film. They said that there's future. Like, there's a big franchise there. There's part two. There's part three, and so on. And um, my guess would be to to do them in order to a point. I mean, the next one would be um have uh, Chop Top come in there. And um, move them to the uh, abandoned uh, amusement park, like in part two. And all those tunnels underground and stuff. And the upper ground, the lower underground. And have the radio station in there. And have some characters, the survivors from there, from the radio station. That would be awesome. It would be fun. Like, um, And have more bloody guts. Because in part two, it got more disgusting in a cool way. Again, in part one, there wasn't that much blood, so... um. I just hope that it feels like the movie when we're playing this game. So, you know, anyways, there is going to be future DLC. We don't know much about that. They didn't even announce that yet. They just said that they're not, they didn't say that they're not going to do it, but chances are they will do it. Another thing we know is that there is going to be interacting with objects in the game but we not everything they didn't say that that you know they don't want you to be able to knock everything over because people will exploit that but they did say you will, you will be able to interact with some things they didn't say exactly what the only thing they did say was like a light perhaps so maybe you can go up and turn a light on and off um in the original film there's a generator outside on the side of the house so I'm sure that you can do something with that generator by turning it back on or off um, because the farmhouse in the original film, they didn't have power coming from a telephone pole. They had that generator going. So I'm, my guess is that's how Leatherface had got the power in the house to to run some of the kitchen stuff to, the, you know, cook up those victims. Um, so I don't know if you can turn a light switch on and off down the halls, but uh, you can interact, go through the house 
I don't know if there's going to be rooms that we've never seen in the film. That would be cool if we could go into different rooms that we've never seen. Um, I was online today looking for like layouts and blueprints of uh, floor plans of the original house. And I couldn't find anything. Um, but I did my best looking for that. I wish I could. But it would be cool if we got to go visit the real house. Because it is in Texas still. Um, the original location was in Round Rock. And they moved the house because they were going to um, just knock it down anyway. So the, somebody bought the house and moved it uh, a couple miles away from Round Rock and turned it into like a, uh, a kind of like a diner that you, the fans could visit and you could order food and eat in it. But I would like to go there and walk through the entire house and get a visual of like, oh, I never knew that this, I, you know. Anyways, um, before I ramble on and on. Again, you guys, this is this game is got me pumped. It's got me excited. There hasn't been any news from like the actual developers uh, with official news in over like three weeks, maybe longer. So that's why I'm refreshing, recapping here, <clears throat> kind of like going over a few things. I'm sure I'm missing some facts of what we know. It is going to be third person. That's another thing we know. It's not going to be first person. It's going to be third person over the shoulder, I'm guessing, the same way Friday the 13th was. That is a great touch because I like to see my character. I like to see how they're dressed. And I, you know, if you're first person, you can only see your hands. And that makes me kind of dizzy sometimes anyways. I know it immerses you depending on what kind of, um, what the game is. But um, this game being third person, that's a great touch. I'm glad they're going that, that route. It makes me happy. Um, so those are some facts of what we know so far. Again, there is no release date as of yet. Um, I'm just kind of relaying, um, refreshing your minds again. Um, anyways, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's keep in the discussion here. So make sure to click notifications to all so you don't miss a video in the future. Uh, live stream. I do a lot of live streaming on this channel as well. Um, make sure to subscribe. I appreciate it because I need to build my community over here. You guys, I need, I need the fans to come to me and hang out. Let's do this. Um, anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. <gasps> you too. Just relax. Maybe I'll show you. You can get in the, the film next time, but not today because your face looks damn ugly. As always, campers stay out of the woods.